Hello, hello. I'm doing this in the daytime, hoping that the sunlight around me will help us to have better light. And as I progress, maybe I'll buy some of those fancy lights that are better. But when you're beginning, you got to do what you got to do and use what you have. So I just know one thing. I couldn't wait to get back into this bag. So let's see what we've got. I also hate to admit, but I have what are called floaters in my eyes, so it does make it really hard to see through the phone, but I think I've worked out some um, some good answers to that, so I'll try that today as well. I just want you to have a great experience. I want you to be able to see things, and um, yeah, I don't want to have to fumble around. I just want you to have fun, so I will always keep you in mind when I'm making these videos. Because it's a lot of fun to watch, to learn, and to see what's in something. It's a great treasure hunt. Oh, I've seen a lot of earrings like this, but not the necklace, so. Those of you that don't like to see tangles being undone, you probably already know, but you can double tap your screen and it'll jump ahead, I think, 10 seconds at a time. Um, and for those of you that like to see it, You are welcome to hang out with me when I as I untangle. I really don't mind it. I'm so glad I didn't do a video on the other box that I bought, not from the same store, from a different Shop Goodwill store. Um, I can't even tell you. I would pick up the jewelry. The tangles were so thick you couldn't see my fingers through them. I don't know why I sat there and still untangled it all, but I did. And I'm, what I'm saying is I'm really glad I didn't do a video on that because it just would have discouraged a lot of people, I think, from buying from Shop Goodwill. And I don't want to do that. I did write to them and I just wanted to make sure, you know, they didn't have a new person working for them. and that they sent me a craft lot by mistake. I think that might be what have happened. So on to better things like this box because I think this one's really going to be a lot better. I think I'm going to undo you. I was thinking it was like a multi-metal necklace, but it may be two different ones. So again, you're welcome to fast forward if you don't like the untangling. Um, oh, and I put my email below. It's capecodebaygirl at aol.com. Cape Cod, like, you know, Cape Cod in Massachusetts. As you can probably tell from my accent, Cape Cod in Boston. <laughs> I lived in Florida for 23 years, so... I do have some R's in my um, accent, but if I want to, I can go right back to my accent that I grew up with very easily and probably give some of you a chuckle. So we don't park the car in Harvard Yard. I love it when people try to say that, but they really don't know how. They say park the car, no, no. Park the car, Harvard Yard. Okay, come on, pretties. We want to see you. I like this one with the little beads on it. It looks very delicate. Looks like one of those that has little knotted 
um, parts of the chain kind of vintage they're usually long necklaces okay what are you do not look like a clasp so this must be the other end okay oh we're almost there oh maybe i shouldn't have started the video out with tangles does anyone know how youtube chooses the photo that goes on as a thumbnail because Last night was my first video ever. I uploaded it. I was so excited. Even though I know it's not a great video and I've got a lot to learn. Um, but it chose the thumbnail for me. So I wasn't sure how they did that. All right, this is a three-part necklace. And I've got to do some housekeeping here. There it is. Got some grayish blue beads on the bottom. I'll zoom in for you. So these are grayish blue. Oh, I think the light's getting better, I hope. And this bar in the middle, well, with rhinestones on it. Looks like they're all there. And we have the sweet pendant. It's like a peachy color. And I know I have earrings to match that. So if anyone likes this, let's see if there's a designer on it. I don't see one, but as you can see, the gold tone is in really good condition. Oh, let me zoom back out. anyone likes this you probably need a measurement will you if you do I'll stop the video and I'll go get something to measure um, but I would say four dollars on this I'll look for the earrings that match and if someone's interested I will put those in with it Okay, thanks. Let's see what's next. This beauty. This is a rose gold color. What do you call these? A bar chain, I think. It's in really good condition. Looks never worn. And I think I see a name or a pimple. Are you a name or a pimple? Let's see. It's a name. Or a signature of some type. Okay, let's... How about if I just get right up here? I think that might work. No, I'm sorry guys. I'm really trying to figure out this whole phone thing. Alright, I'll take a peek at it. It's a bunch of little dots hooked together like a caterpillar. Don't know what that signature is, but I will research it. In the meantime, if you know who the maker is, please let me know. And for now, we'll put it aside. I wanted to ask you... I think I'm getting a shadow here for my light. What do you think of this chain? I think it's a little worn and it could go into craft. But this is an extender, I believe. She's got the lobster claw here. And the older style spring ring clasp is what really belongs on the necklace. So I think someone might have just put that as an extender. The necklace is pretty long itself. But as for condition, I wanted to show you this. It's not bad. But I'm such a people pleaser, I wouldn't want someone to be disappointed. So 
So how about if I say four dollars on this? Magnets a little bit on the spring ring, which we would expect. And you know, if someone likes it for four dollars, I don't want to throw it in the craft pile. But if no one wants it or responds, then I will. I'll put it in the craft pile. I'm going to go grab my necklace bust. Okay, so here's one of them. One of my issues is that I'm on an iPhone. I can't seem to get a wide angle. So to show you a tall necklace, I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll hold the phone in my hand towards the end and see how I can do that. But this is what it would look on the look like on the necklace bust. And move my light, but I don't think it's helping. Does that look better? We'll get it. We'll get it together, kids. I have to start somewhere. So, putting it for a few dollars and putting it aside. I wanted to talk about the watches today because I did think about them last night. I don't know much about watches. These are really pretty. I think if I just say $4 a watch, I'm happy with that. There's no stones missing on this. This is the one that is a Geneva. Nice big numbers, which is really helpful for some people and just looks cool for others. It looks to be new, the stickers on the back. It's a silver tone, the band is stretchy. And I'm assuming it takes a battery because it's not winding. But four dollars. This was the Wrangler watch. I saw that these do sell well, but there aren't many of them. They're pretty rare. And this looks to be like a lucite decoration. Has the box fold over glass. And four dollars on that. And I do see Mother of Pearl inside. Hold on, let me see if that's a chip. Oh, the glass is chipped in the corner right there. So, yeah. Oh, what to do? I'll put it for craft. This is the Skagen one that I was saying. You're all probably screaming what the name is. These sell very well also, especially with this type of watch, ba watch band, yes, because it's got this mesh metal that you kind of clip closed. I'm not going to fiddle with it now, but it says Skagen on the watch band as well. The gold tone is lovely, really great condition. The face is lovely. All the rhinestones inside, of course, are there. But I saw that these sold anywhere from 15 to 40. So I thought I would put $10 on this. I think this is the Timex. Vintage Timex do very well. Let me make sure. Yes. Stretch band, so no worries about the size. The back says this. And I'd say $4.
the swatch is Swiss Swiss Hill, I think it was called. Let's see if I get it more in the light. I appreciate your patience so much. I really do. This is silver tone. Could be a men's watch, I'm not sure. It's a brush silver tone. Told you I don't know a lot about watches, right? Um, yeah, well, that's how it opens. <laughs> okay, I don't want to make myself look worse than I am. Um, yeah, there's a signature on the band. See that? Don't know what that means. Maybe it's the same company that made the watch. So I'm not sure about this one. But I'm still going to say $4, because I just don't know a lot about them. There's something inside the band, I'll look at that too. Stainless steel. So, that's that one. $4. This is so cute. I love that belt buckle style watch band. Silver tone. Should be back here where you can see. The mesh metal is in great condition. She's just really pretty. Pretty look to it. I think my phone's doing a great job of uh, focusing. Giovanni on this one. There's the dark face, contrast with the silver tone metal, and this is what it says on the back. The sticker still on it. So four dollars on that too. If someone crafts, they don't like the watch, they can sure make a beautiful bracelet out of that watch band. I think that's pretty. This is pretty too with the hearts. Silver tone with gold tone hearts in the watch band on a stretch. This one I think just says quartz. Needs a little cleanup, doesn't it? Everything needs a little cleanup in here, doesn't it? So that's that one. Gold tone, silver tone. Probably hard to tell on the camera. It usually is for me when I'm watching a video. These are the hearts are gold tone. This back portion is silver tone. And four dollars. Get the watches out of the way so we can do some fun digging. This is a gold and silver tone. Nice heavy watch name on this one is Carriage. I think these did okay too. That's what the back says. Looks like there's still a sticker, unless someone leaves a sticker on to be able to see what their battery is. Um, the silver and gold tone. The metal is in great condition. This is gold tone around here. Looks really 80s. Let's see, you always want to check the watch band because someone could have put, you know, sterling silver watch band on. That happens a lot. The watch band says MN, M like Mary, N like Nancy. And did it say something on this side? So, four dollars, another watch. I did that one, okay. 
this necklace that we saw yesterday. I wanted to put it on the bust and show you what it looks like on. Because I think someone could totally rock this necklace. It's really very stunning. Of course, if you wore it close, it as a choker. It would probably look more like this. So that's gold tone. I guess you'd call that a hammered gold tone. With an extension in the back, so you can clip it just about anywhere. And I think a great price for that would be four dollars. And since we took time with the watches, I may put this tangle aside and try to get some things that will just be fun. Well, this is fun. Faux turquoise bracelet. Rolling stones. It's got plastic beads that are gold tone. But it's cute. There's no reason to craft it because there's nothing wrong with it. So I'll say a dollar. I don't feel cold to the touch, but yeah, I think they might be dyed howlite, so I would say natural stone on that. A dollar. I pushed the bag over to the side so we could see the pieces better. But how about if I bring chunk of it over, because I know I love to see what's coming ahead. Oh my, it's gorgeous. Can we get you out of there, sweetheart? I really want to see you. Can we clip this? See if we can get this out. Oh, look at this. That's so pretty. I love this. So what is this chain called? I call it mesh metal, but from what I'm learning, there are other things that are called mesh metal that are different. This is a very long necklace. I have to fix this lighting. I can't suffer you guys this lighting. trying to get where there's no shadows in the way. It's a long necklace. Let's see if I can get this all that way. So let's see how it looks. Isn't that beautiful? With the right outfit, that is stunning. Really pretty. say that's 36 inches. Yeah, probably a 36 inch necklace that has a little bit of an extension. So if I'm not exact, you have the extension. It is magnetic. It's made very well. It's very pretty. I would say $5.00 a nice, long, great condition necklace. Wow, where are you? What are you? Oh, looks like something broke. Oh, we have like a horse? Pegasus? Nice. Let's 
try to figure out this train. Where's this? Okay, I'm understanding now. But I think I'm going to have to do some untangling. I do see a hook class. I think the way to do these is Hold them this way. Oh my, I think I need to put this one aside. Because I'm not going to do it justice if I don't set it up nicely. Because it's going to hang down like this. It's in beautiful shape. It's vintage. It's got the vintage hook class. What, what is this? Maybe this, no, something's going on. Oh, it's clipped on. Well, let's see what the little mystery is. Did you just get caught on there? Did you break off of another necklace? What put you here? This would hook here. that and get back to you. Okay, we have a really nice bracelet. Textured gold tone. It's almost in a heart motif. I would say it is in a heart motif. Very nice looking. I wonder if you can sometimes hear my clock behind me. I'm not seeing any mark. But that's okay. It's a pretty, pretty one. Reminds me a lot of Monet. Let me get a measure stick because you really need to know how long these items are. So it looks like the bracelet is, by the time you close the clasp, seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches, gold tone, great condition. Almost looks like there may be silver underneath, but maybe not. Pulled over clasp. And I'm going to say $5. Nice vintage bracelet. Oh, what's this? Apples, a schoolhouse, some children. That's so beautiful. Kiddos, schoolhouse, shiny red apple. I love the closure. I'll show you the back as well. Oh, you know, there's a little swirly design in it. And I just learned that that may be the 1928 brand <coughs> that does that swirly back. If you agree, if you know that, let me know. Because I'm really all about learning. Let's see if I can get really close to show you what I'm talking about with the swirl. See that swirly design in there? From what I've learned, that's 1928. But there's no mark, maker's mark on this. But anyway, it's adorable. If you are a teacher, you know a teacher, you just love this look, you're welcome to it for $6. The paint, the enamel, is all in great condition. 
overall, the chain, everything, the clasp doesn't even look worn. So, and let's do a measurement. say this is about a seven and a half also. Maybe seven and a quarter just to be safe. I think I said six dollars in there. Okay, wonderful. So what else do we have? I love this. I'm gonna put the watches aside. Is this another it's another Skagen. This one's even nicer than the other one. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, how? I, I'm. It's so sad, but I don't even know how to do this. You're probably screaming. That's not how you do it. Let me at least measure this one. This is, I'm going to say, because I don't know how to close it at least eight inches and then you can adjust it. I think I said ten dollars on the other Skagen. I'll say that again on this one. This is really did do well. No, that was the Elgin. I'm sorry, I don't want to get mixed up. Let's put that aside and I'll rewind the tape and see what I said on the other one. so sweet when they put them together. So these are clip-ons and they have some, can you see through? Some green glass. The back is open so that tells me that they really cared about the stone that they put on there. Let's look at a close-up see how my phone does. So yeah, that is glass. It's a gold tone earring. Clips work well. And looks like a zebra sort of green print. So I'm going to take a look at these. I'm learning about glass. So I'm going to do a little research. Put those up there for now. I think we have the other one that we found in our first video. This is in great brand new condition. They are clip-ons. They are Monet. And I would say say ten dollars on these. They're just perfect. They're not heavy. Sometimes when you wear a clip they can be heavy but these are nice. We have a very light beaded necklace. It's got gold station beads in between. Is from okay. I've had a few with this M on them lately, and I don't know who the M is. See that? The clasp is lovely. Lobster claw, nice thin one, gold tone. put it this way. This is measuring 14 inches without any extension. Oh, 
I'd say 15 for the first class, uh, 16 for the second, 18 for the third. So if someone likes this style, put nice clasp on there. I'm happy to do this for three. bracelet or maybe it wasn't a bracelet not sure but I can think of a lot of things that could be adhered to that to make it a gorgeous bracelet it does seem about the size a bracelet would be so in our craft pile oh what a pretty ring lovely cocktail ring no markings I remembered my ring sizing today. This is a six and a quarter. Six and a quarter cocktail style ring. All the stones are there in great condition. likes that, I'm happy to sell that for four dollars. Oh, this is an earring. Is that a real flower encased in there? I think it might be. That's fun. That's a lot of fun to put it over there for its buddy to show up. Okay, we've got a hefty necklace coming up. Beautiful one. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Big rhinestones here. It's got a leaf design. It's like an antique gold tone. I really like this one. Now this is what I see called mesh metal. But when I think of mesh metal, maybe they're both mesh metal. I don't know. But is this called something else besides mesh metal? The rhinestones are really sparkly. They're all there. Marquee sort of cut, I think you would say. And I'll show you the back. This is making me think J. Crew. But it's not. It's Stella and Dot. Stella and Dot? Yes. It's really tough with that cloud thing in my eye, but um, I will work hard to make sure I can see things and that you can all know exactly what they are. But this is really gorgeous. Stella and Dot necklace. It's pretty heavy. Great condition for the back. Another question for you since I'm new at this. How do you like the measurement? Do you like someone to measure all the way end to end? Or do you want to hear about what the drop is? This has an 8 inch drop and with the extender, 9.5 inch drop. I think that's easier. Let me know in the comments what you'd rather have because you're important to me and I want to know what, what works for you best. So this is just in great condition. I don't see any issues. I would say Stella and Dot, $10. And that will be a great necklace for a long time. It has great quality. Okay, I have a bracelet here. It says Linda and Scott. Maybe that was a personal note. Looks like there's um, maybe a sticker on there. 
I'll put that in the craft lot. Get some of these fun pieces. Okay, I think I found a brooch, which would be very cool. There's a little look at that. So I don't know the year of this, but I do know that around the 50s, there were a lot of items that were space related, star related, spinning stars, designs like that. I would think this would be around that era. If not, let me know. It's in great shape. The class sports well. Zoom for the and I needed to talk to me for a minute. There's no signature, but it's lovely. The gold is in great condition. There is a spot on the back. I want to be able to zoom in for you. Yeah, there's a little wear right there, unless it can be polished away. Not sure, it might be a, a bit of wear. I think if we think of it as wear, and then when you get it, if it's not, then all the better. But this is going to clean up really beautifully. So for this stunning brooch, I am going to say eight dollars. Oh, a charm bracelet. It's got a lot on it. I'm still zoomed in. That might be good on this one. Okay. That may be a medical thing. A rose. This is the toggle. Another medical thing. Let me see if it says something. It does say R.I. something and company. I'll have to look at another charm and see if it's more clear. This is, oh, a little doggy bone and like a, a copper color. And it also says R.I. Bead and Company trademark. So maybe the whole bracelet is from this company. But you never know. Sometimes people put different charms on bracelets. And see if I can loop it for you. R.I.B. I'm assuming that's short for the R.I. Bead Company. This is an XO charm. And this is my angel wings, I think. We've got a flower with is that a stone in there? No. Another heart. Textured on one side. A sweet little angel. Oh, the proverbial lock and key. Isn't that cute? That's really Another heart and the word love and a star with a swirl design and here's the toggle. And I'm sure it's marked as well with this company. So I've not seen this brand before. Give it a measure. Seven and a half. Seven and a half toggle. And I'll give you an idea how it looks on. Great. 
great, great condition, just lovely. Sweet. Not magneting. I'm not seeing anything about 925, but I am going to look into this RIB com bead company, and we're going to put that right up here. And put a price to it. like hoop earrings but they are clip-ons. I think that's cool. I like those a lot. Do they magnet? Yes they do. So I like this. That makes it much easier on the ear. So I'm going to put these back together and say two dollars. They're silver tone. They're in great condition. what would show on the front is that little ball, which is adorable. Two dollars. We have a hammered gold tone bracelet, which I am going to put over here with the bracelets for now. Oh, this must be what broke because I see a piece over there. get back to you. My magnet, it's hitchhiking again. Ah, you get off of there. Okay, up there. I'm in the jewelry hospital for now. This looks like an earring. I love these dangly dangly. It's a lot of leaves. And again, up to the side. This is interesting. Very opalescent. With a really neat drop to it. I'll have to see what that material is. Oh, I think I see some lapis. This definitely looks like lapis. See the back? And a very sweet gold chain. And we have a maker. Hope you don't leave me and think this is terrible videos because I know I'm gonna get better at this. Stella and Dot, I know that's what it says, but I don't want you to be able to see it. I think it's better for you this way. Yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for being patient with me. So we have a Stella and Dot necklace with some lapis. It's a faceted cut piece of lapis. Very, very beautiful color. has a drop of eight inches and I would say six dollars on the Stella and Dot. Another ring, very handsome, textured, gold tone, very handsome. It's a big ring, right? Yes. So we could wear it over here, or our mans could wear it. So let's get a size on it. Okay, I think you're supposed to go to where the top part of it is, which says nine, nine and three quarters to be safe. When the band is wider, you want to be safe about that. So nine and three quarters, textured bronzy gold tone, I would say. And I think that's a great ring to wear for four dollars. If you want to get your timestamp, if you like that ring, just pause the video and it will tell you what time it is on the video and that is how you get your timestamp to let me know, <coughs> excuse me, by email to Cape Cod eBay Girl 
at AOL.com if you like the piece and if you wanted to buy it. And then I will send you an invoice and it would have to be an email on your part that I could PayPal invoice you. It's a great chain. Costume jewelry chain. Buckle it here. Nice choker. Really, really nice shape. I love the pieces in this lot. They're all proven to be great condition. Seven inch drop with another two and a half inch extender. Silver tone chain. Nice weight to it. Let's see what it looks like on here. Oh, hitchhiker again. I'll have to figure out what to do with my hitchhiker friend. It would not be funny if I sent it to one of you in the mail attached to something. Well, maybe it would be funny. I would laugh. So there it is. I think that's a great looking piece. And I think $4 is fine. Great, great piece. Silver tone, I did say that, right? Here's another one of our wacky, wonderful um, bracelets. I think these are going to look great together. Well, they're in a pile, collecting them, so I can show them to you all together. This is a copper bracelet. It's woven with some Aurora Borealis type beads. Copper in it. Copper on the base. Easy on, easy off. I don't know much about these or the interest in them, but I would say three dollars. Even though it's movable, if you'd like a measurement of two and a half inches, that's very movable. Isn't that a pretty one? Wow. Now this has the mesh metal in the background. There's a lot going on. It has the chain running through. Beautiful stones in there. This is pretty. Looks like a clamper, but it's not. It's a, a bangle. Just lovely. Silver tone, nothing missing, lovely detail. Oops, I'm sorry. Three inches, or do we measure on the inside? Two and three quarter? And our hitchhiker, yeah. So let's say five dollars. hoping this was one of those paper clip chains because I really like these. I think they look great on guys and girls. And it even has a maker on it. So Again, terrific condition. Let's see who the maker is. I'm going to say J. Crew, but yes it is. J. Crew paper clip chain, perfect condition. I can only show you this much of it because of the limited space, but it's that nice. And I'll show you on the white background as well. Wow, that's really smart looking. And a measurement. say 14 inch drop. So you could probably also double it. 
this is a nice necklace I'd say eight dollars on this for a J crew in that condition beautiful paper clip chain I had to take a minute to do some untangling because it was just way too much so back here is a pile of tangles I'm thinking I might do a separate video just of untangling because I know people like to see that next we have the silver tone bracelet uh, it's a stretch it's the old-fashioned kind of stretch with a really strong um, really strong stretch in there in great condition I guess they call these cha-cha bracelets but it looks great I don't see a thing wrong with it here's the inside almost like a little heart design if someone knows if that's a maker I'd like to know so leave it in the comments if you would even though it's a stretch the measurement is still about three inches and let's get our hitchhiker it's not magnetic so it may be silver plating over over brass don't hold me to that but that's usually what the deal is or maybe over copper although I'm not seeing any copper come through so let's say four dollars on the bracelet next we have a pierced earring in gold tone and I think this is a Jewish symbol I have another necklace on eBay that's silver that looks like this and when I researched it it was um, I think it meant life in the Jewish language so if you know that to be true I'd love to hear from you not sure what to do on the earrings at this point so I'll put that aside for now we have one of those half of the best friends necklaces no big sister sorry so big sister it's green enamel on a silver tone chain there's a lobster claw clasp pretty good extension looks in very good condition The drop is nine inches with the extension. Without it, eight inch drop. So let's say two dollars on the big sis necklace. Here we have a stretch bracelet. Looks to be vintage, silver tone. So I guess this was not a gold tone box, it was a metallic tone. So I can't complain when there's silver in the box because it was called metallic, but I love it. It's been really a lot of fun. So let's see, stretch is in great condition. A lot of nice dangly silver tone pieces here. Almost looks like it says something there, but it's more of a design. I love it when they make them with all these links. I think it looks sweet. So, this one, three inches, even though it's a stretch, great condition, four dollars. We have a gold ring. It does say something inside. And let's give it a little polish. Ooh, nice. Okay, now, what does it say in there? I opened the door to bring more light in. I'm not sure if you guys are going to hear any noise, but... If so, then I won't open the door next time. Okay, I have to look at it with my eyes. 
It says J. Crew, size 7. What nice jewelry they make. Gold tone, J. Crew ring. We know it says 7, but let's see. Size 7. Great quality jewelry they make, so I'll say six dollars on the ring. Oh, this guy. How did he make it in that box of fifteen pounds? He got bent a little. The fact that it's soft may mean that it's sterling. So first let's check with our hitchhiker. Oh, stuck. Well, it's still sweet. It says the word love on it in script. And if we put it on the ring sizer, it may help straighten it out a bit. So it would be adjustable at the size it is now. It's about a six and a half. It says the word love in script. If someone would like that for a dollar, you're welcome to it. Ooh, this looks very Art Deco. Very cool. I'm loving this one. It's got a lot of rhinestones. Maybe cubic zirconia, I don't know. Ooh, they're princess cut, which you don't see a lot. In the 90s, the year 2000. Princess Cut was really popular. I had one. I loved it. So this is a very nice looking ring. There is a little bit of wear up on this corner. You can see. But it's a beauty. I'm not seeing any marks inside. Let's put on our ring sizer. Looks to be about a seven and a half. Not nice. I'm going to say $10 on that. Cufflinks, I don't know anything about, so I'm going to put them aside. Very sweet heart shaped earring. Oh, here's the other. So we have a pair of heart shaped earrings. They look to be more on the vintage side, really well made. Let's see, I'm sure they'll polish up nicely. Let's have a look. Yeah, they do. Heart shaped earrings. I'll put some nice backs on them. $2. Okay, what are you? It's a pin that's a watch. Oh, neat, I see. So you have it pinned on you and then you look at it this way. It just says quartz on it, but it has like a little red cloud. It does have a second hand. Silver tone, that mesh metal again. And it's a pin that's in great shape, looks never used. I have no idea about these, so I'm going to say $5. This is a pretty one. Rose gold, full of rhinestones, Cuban link chain. Nice. I don't see a maker's mark, but again, great shape. There's a little wear right here on the chain, but not really any here. Just make sure all the stones are there. Yep, three, 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 and three, three. Okay, let's put this on our neck and see how it looks. Ooh, let's hear the swooning. 
let's see. That's going to lay nicely. Yes. So there you go. You want to see it on this color. This is not my favorite necklace display because it doesn't have any shape to it, so it makes the necklace go flat. But that's that one. Rose gold tone. And let's see, I'll try to measure without the extension and then with. It has a seven inch drop and another three inches for the extension. Great shape, just a little bit of wear here. I would say four dollars. Next is a silver tone clamper style bracelet. Very geometric in design. It's in good condition. Not sure about this, so let's try. See how it polishes up. Oh, really? Well, wow, watch that. Polishes up great, but I just want to see if this, just want to see if that's missing, peeling, not sure. If someone likes this because I'm unsure of the metal. May just need a cleaning. I'm going to do that for $2. If someone crafts and they don't like the metal, there's a lot you can do with that. So, two dollars. What are you? Oh my. Do you think this is a necklace full of rings? Very clanky. Wow. This might have to go in my tangle pile. Very unusual. This box has been very unusual. Really fun. Okay, without making too much noise. Can I get it undone? My microphone was way over there the whole time. I hope it doesn't ruin the video. Okay. I'm going to try this. Yeah, I think because this is so noisy, I may have to finish this and come back with it. But it does look like it's some kind of a necklace with a lot of rings on it. I hate to quit. I hate to quit. I love to keep going, finish something I start, so it's not easy to stop. Let's see. Are we almost there? Oh, we are. We're there. Yay. I think it's a double strand, which made it a little more complicated. Wow. Okay, where is the one end and the other end? Oh my. I did it. It is a necklace full of rings and different symbols. I've never seen anything like it. Silver tone. I don't see wear anywhere on it. Excuse the fingers, they start to get yucky. I'll have to go wash and come back. This is interesting. Lots of rings, different textures on them. Dagger type piece. Sword. Um, 
anchor cross and this is how it would hang interesting for sure so let me get a drop on this about a 22 inch drop and I'm pretty sure you could clip it anywhere you like along there so the adjustment is um, just infinity so here's this I'm going to say five dollars of course another watch okay and another stuck thing I really want to see what this is it's pretty not sure if I can get it another watch so if you didn't see my first video when I opened the box I uh, wasn't I didn't realize that I ordered one that had watches in it. I don't usually like to do that because I don't know a lot about watches and I don't want to keep saying, well, I don't know, I don't know. So we're going to pile them together and once in a while I just give some quick prices on them. And uh, if you like something, email me at capecodebaygirl at aol.com with the timestamp and what you like and I'll send you an invoice. Shipping's five dollars, unless it's a lot of items, then we'll have to talk about what the total weight is. I will combine shipping, so to save you shipping money. But this is another unusual, really cool looking necklace for sure. But it's got someone hitchhiking almost there so again you can double tap your screen and it will fast forward every I think 10-20 seconds if you don't like to see the untangles and if you do then here we are Oh boy, um, I don't know what this says. I mean, it's Stella and Dot. That's what I thought it said, but I wanted to make sure. This is a Stella and Dot. Stunning. I'm sure that's crystal. This is one that we'll put aside, and I will get the Presidium out, and we will test the stones, because those are definitely clear quartz. I would like to be sure. Stella and Dot, gorgeous. Wow, this is a beautiful brooch. Brushed gold tone, which seems to be very popular right now. Um, I'm not seeing a maker's mark, but the condition's great. Let's see if it has all the rhinestones. Oh. It's missing a few. Missing a few there. Let me get exact number. No, it's actually in there. It's just set back, but it is missing one, two, three. I think it's missing three stones. If someone would like to fix that. Oh, let me see down here. It's an amber color stone that's in there. And if someone wants to fix it with some amber color stones, you'd have a beautiful brooch. I'm not going to throw this in craft. I'm going to say $2 on this because it's a nice vintage brooch and for a little fixing. 
could have something great. And if you want to wear it like this, I mean, I would. Pretty. We have a ring. Oh, it's one of those wear it together rings. Okay, I've not seen one of these before. Not seeing any marks, but can you see how it's two pieces? I don't want to pull on it. I think what I'll do... <gasps> Are you kidding me? You flip it over and you have a red stone. With rhinestones there. You flip it over and you have a cluster. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's got to be a six and three quarters because that's my size, but... Okay, I know I'm new to jewelry, but if you've seen this before, let me know, because I never have. That is so pretty. It's a great idea, too. Let me see here. I can show you close. Hmm, it's not easy. Yeah, let me get it in my own vision first. Then turn it. Yeah, I'm making you see sick, right? Oh, here we go. So there's rhinestones on the side. And that red stone is very pretty. Got the double band. I'm just amazed. That is so cool. I'm going to take a close look. It's lightweight. I'm not seeing any marks on it. I'm sure it's costume cocktail ring. Well, there's a little mark on it. Oh, a size 8. So it's an 8. Hmm. Oh, my bummer, bummer. There's a stone missing here. Ugh. They are also sort of opal colored stones. There's a good shot of it there. If you think you have one of those stones and you want to pop one in there and have yourself a double ring, I guess I'll, I'll let this go for three dollars. Oh, I really liked it. But it's still pretty. Three dollars. Don't forget your timestamp. I'm seeing a brooch. Love, love the brooches. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so I find where the clasp is and turn it this way, and that's generally how you wear it. Sweet pearls, gold tone. Pearls look great. Not seeing a maker's mark. Let me take a look. No, but I'm going to put this one aside because I like it and it might be a catch and release. You know what those are? You wear it for a while and then you sell it later. That's a catch and release. This is lovely. Look how the pearls are within the chain. That's nice. I'm looking for Avon to be on there. Oh, it has the older lobster claw. The early one. Very sweet. Can you tell us who you are? I wish every jewelry piece had a mark so we knew its history, where it was from, and sometimes it gets to be a guessing game. Okay, so I think you just push that in this way, which makes it easy on. But that's sweet. Very sweet. Measures. 
about three and a quarter inches. And because it's vintage in such good shape, I'm going to say seven on this. That's almost a keeper. Cool earring. We have some silver tone. And a name. I've got to go wash my hands and come back, guys. I can't. That's too yucky. Napier, of course. When something's that classy and that beautiful, we you know it's Napier. So it's a silver tone bars and these silver tone ball beads on a silver tone chain with lobster claw and the tag. I'm a little in love with this, so it's a keeper for now. We've got silver tone heart necklace that looks to be broken. So this is going to go in our craft pile. It's a hitchhiker. And maybe this is the other half of it. Hmm. I think it is. It does have a name. Looks like Premier Design. Premier Design. So here's the other half. Let's make sure. So somehow. These two pieces connected? Or maybe they just. Maybe that's how they go. Maybe it's not broken at all. Let me know if you think this is a craft item, if that's how it goes, um, or if it's, yeah, if it's a craft item broken, or if this is how it goes. But for now, I'm going to put $3 on it. If that's how it goes, that's cute. I like it. Oh, I'm in love. Look at this turtle. It has a brush silver tone with gold little feeties and things. Looks like it even has a name. JJ. JJ on the turtle earring will hope that his mate shows up. I think we saw the other one of these in the first video, but we'll see that in the end. What are you? It's a little palm tree. Is this how they're attaching charms on bracelets nowadays? Instead of going to the jeweler and having them solder something on? I think people are clipping them on this way. Well, if so, this is a very sweet palm tree gold tone um, charm. I don't see any marks on it. Very good condition. The clasp always hitchhikes because there's a, ring, a spring in there. So we can't go by that, but a little bit of a... Hmm, should I put the charms aside for now and then we'll see? Ooh, another nice costume ring. Old tone. That's nice looking. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to get it stuck on me. It's gold tone, sort of a shell shape. This is solid. Well, it's solid that deep. Great color. Let's see if there's anything inside. 
not seeing it, but the condition's great. And I would say it's an eight and a half because the band is wide. Maybe between eight and a half, eight and three quarters. And I think that's a great costume piece for five dollars. Nice heavy. And another watch. Maybe we should take a watch break. Mother of Pearl face inside, I think. This is Armatron Diamond. Armatron Diamond, yes. Let's see what the back says. Swiss Parts Movement Thailand Armatron Trademark 75 slash 5322 Metal Bezel Stainless Steel Back has this fold over clasp. Very pretty, like perfect condition. I'm seeing like a mirror effect here. Isn't that sharp? Yes, it is like a mirror. Let's give a measurement. I don't know what you'd say, I guess three, three inches. But then you've got the round part, so you'll have to use your judgment on that. But I'll say five on that. That's a sharp one probably has a diamond chip in it, or maybe they just use the name diamond, I don't know. But again, if you know, I'd love to learn. So leave a, a like and a comment. Hey, this is hip and cool. And look at the clasp, it's the same. That's a pretty enamel piece. Silver tone, almost a Rolo chain, but it's a little bit of a shaped Rolo. And I love the clasp. And it's Premier Design, I think. Yes, good old Premier Design. They make nice stuff. So, let's see. Double chain, silver tone, black enamel. Oh, it's a two-sided. You could wear it white, or you could wear it black. And, 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 ta-da! I think you can take this off and put it on another necklace if you want to. Or just wear the chains. Wow, that's three necklaces in one. Okay, let's see what this says inside of it. It has a name also. If I can keep it from closing. Premier Designs. So it does actually go with it. Wow, that is nice. So you can wear a double chain or a black enamel or a white. That is sweet. And again, the clasp is a repeat of, of the pendant, which is nice. Has an 8 inch drop on the first chain and a 9 on the second. And I'm going to say 12, just because there's three different necklaces out of this. It is Premier Design. <coughs> it's in great shape. Get a few more done and then we'll call it a day. I am liking this. Maybe I'll start to like watches after this box of jewelry. 
It is, I think it just says quartz. Yep, I have it upside down. It says quartz, looks to be mother of pearl inside. But then it has these, how do you say it, Greepoy Gre style um, rhinestones? Like a faux sapphire, ruby, amethyst. And again on this side, that's beautiful. Really lovely. Here's what the back says. And again, it's in great shape. Let's measure this one straight across. This is about seven and a quarter. Yeah, about seven and a quarter. Sorry for that. I wasn't sure if I was on or off. So I'm going to say with those beautiful gems, $5. A few more things. These are some of the pieces that I had to untangle because they were pretty bad. So this looks like a three, four piece, four part, four layer chain necklace with sil silver and gold tone both. This is a really pretty design on that chain. The next one is like a twisty silver tone. The next is serpentine. Nice shape. And where am I? This is the texture of the fourth chain. Silver and gold tone. Some people really love the mixed metal and it does have a signature. Looks like an S and an F. Can you see that? Does anyone know what that maker is? It's on the other side of a feather. So, very nice necklace. Do the drop. Seven on the first one. about a nine on the last chain drop. And then you have quite a long extension, at least three inches. So SF, we don't know what that means, but if you do, let us know. And as far as the necklace, I'll do $6. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Heart-shaped brooch with an open rose, I'd say. Filigree, gold filigree. And let me see if there's anything inside of it. No, just a lot of gold petals. You see that? It's pretty. I'll put that aside for now. Okay, another unusual item. I hope you're not broken. Oh, it is broken. Oh, well. I guess you can't win them all. Yeah, 
it looks like it went like this before. It's not called an omega chain, I think. So it looks like we're going to have a pretty big piece in the craft pile. Hey, maybe if someone tried to fix it already. I don't know. But that goes to the craft. So before we go, I'm going to gather the craft items and offer them to you. You may have to take a peek at the first video to see what each and every one of these are. They either had a little something missing or a little wear to them. So that would be this pile. Scale out, put it on ounces. Oops. Looks like about 11 ounces of craft. So why don't we say I'll put that in a nice bag. I'll wrap it too so that pieces don't continue to fall off. But 11 ounces of craft jewelry for $8. Alright, well thanks so much for staying with me and watching the video. I'll be back again later to finish it up and to make sure all my sound is okay. And please leave me comments. Uh, please leave a like if you like what you're seeing and let me know how I'm doing. Is the lighting okay? Is there something I could do differently or better since this is only my second video at this point? I'm going to try to not touch any of this. Well, I'm not going to touch any of it, but it's not easy because I'm dying to keep going. But I am going to take a break to make sure the video is coming out okay. So I'll see you back later and thank you so much. I hope you're having a great time.